Hello everyone. This is uh, Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton, Florida. We're recording our next procedure is tooth number two. Uh, tooth number two. Interesting case. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about, a little bit about that first. Uh, the patient's been wearing a pre-existing bridge which has a history of, of um, coming loose. Uh, as you can see in the anterior abutment, uh, tooth number five, and then there are two ponics, and then a distal abutment, number two. Number two has come loose, and we had to perform an endodontic procedure, of which uh, now is, is calm. Uh, number five is still intact. Uh, you can see the slot preparation where we did have to add a composite resin to uh, to to adhere it and to attach the bridge. So now we have the distal abutment loose so we really can't tap the bridge off without causing a tooth fracture on this front tooth. So we have to go in from the top and uh, perform a microscopic technique where we'll do all the sealing internally uh, via a self-carrying resin and more than likely cementing a post as well. Alright, so that's what today's all about. We're going to go ahead with the round burr. A smaller burr. Let's see. I'll go to a KS zero. And let's see if that is better. All right. I think we'll have to take that out. Right. So this is just Cabot. Are we okay? Sister Regina, everything good? Yeah. The cheek a little bit on the right? You okay now? Mm -hmm. Okay. A little air, please. So out goes the cabot. And right now we're using a microscope, but we're using it at a very low level. We're just making sure everything is good, the patient's comfortable. We did not anesthetize her today um, because we don't have a neurologic component in this particular case. Long Explorer. All right. Now we're just going to take, now this is the cotton. We're going to bring the cotton out. Okay, suction that. Great. Okay, we've got another piece of cotton all the way in there. This one is saturated with some saliva and other products. So, out that goes. And there are our canals. There's one there, one there, and one there. So we're going to go ahead and use cavity cleanser. There are the two, uh, two canals. And there's the palatal. Oh, we've got to put a post in that palatal canal. But we do need to meticulously clean the internal aspect. In order to do that, I'm going to need to open up the orifice a little bit more. Now, with the long explorer, I'm checking the seal as I'm lifting. I can see the separation. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Areas of separation. Okay. That's the cleanser. Go ahead and rinse that thoroughly. We're going to open it up a little bit more now. And the reason why I'm opening it up is I want to be able to have access to the internal aspect of the tooth so we can bond properly to that. Uh, I have to be able to see 
So we give up a little bit of support, but in the end, we're getting more visual and we can do a better job of feeling the tooth internally. Okay, and dry that thoroughly. I'm going to take a slow speed round burr number six. I'm just going to come in and clean that out in there to see what comes loose. And there may be some old composites, some old cement in there. You okay? I have a hunch this is bothering you here on this side. Is that right? Are you feeling that? Does that bother you? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Is your tooth okay underneath? Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and rinse. Here we go. Getting a little wet? <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to continue to clean this out, and in the next segment, I'll show you how we cement in our post and literally do an internal bonding technique to keep this bridge going a little longer. All right, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I will see you at the next segment.